Secret 11s. This is a method of solving complex uh, equation. When you look at this equation, you have x squared minus 3x, everything squared. If you multiply it out, you'll end up with x to the power of 4, that times that times that, then it becomes complicated. Now, when you look, you have x squared minus 3x, you have x squared minus 3x. So what we do, we choose a variable. In this case, we usually choose k. And then we say k is equal to that part that is complex. So we say k is, or we say let k equals to x squared minus 3x. So what you mean, you say in my equation where there is x squared minus 3x, I'm going to write k. So let's do that. x squared minus 3x, it's k, but the x squared minus 3x is squared. So it's k squared minus 8k minus 20 is equal to 0. Then you have a quadratic formula. If you can factorize, you can use a quadratic formula. But factorizing, it's easier. So you're going to factorize, squared to 0. We have k, k, factors of 20, it's 10, and plus 2. So our k is equals to 10, or our k is equals to minus 2. Okay. When you get to here, you put back what k stands for. k stands for x squared minus 3x, then it was equals to 10. I suggest you do one side, finish one side, then do the other side. So we're going to have x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals to 0. Then you factorize x, x minus 10 times 5 plus 2. So my x is equals to 5 or my x is equals to minus 2. Let's do the other right. side. When you do the other side, we have x is equals to minus, k is equals to minus 2. You remember that k is x squared minus 3x. So instead of writing k, I'm going to have x squared minus 3x is equals to minus 2. Then I'll have x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equals to 0. Then I factorize. If you can't factorize, you have your friend, quadratic formula, use it, x is equals to 2, or x is equals to 1. This is how you use k-method. Sometimes in the equation paper, they'll give you exponent. Just look for the complicated part, put a k there, solve it, put the, the complicated part back, solve it. That's how we do the k-method. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our lesson.